What happens when you encounter a wild person in Pokemon Black and White 2? I'm Mike, Poketips Mike, and yes, you heard that right. Today, in Pokemon Black and White 2, we're gonna be using some mods to encounter people in the wild. We're gonna try to catch them, we're gonna try to train them, just like if they were a regular Pokemon. In Pokemon Black and White 2, they added a brand new minigame called the Pokestar Studios, which basically turns you into a movie star. In this area, you can take part in minigames where you make films involving Pokemon. Each of these films has a scenario like you being a hero trying to stop an evil, evil villain. After completing a film, you could go ahead and watch it yourself. Now what does this have to do with encountering wild people? Because of the way Game Freak coded the Pokestar Studios, a lot of the people that can appear in films are saved in the game's files as Pokemon. So if we use mods that change the wild Pokemon we can encounter, well, you'll just have to watch and see what happens next. Now I've done some weird stuff on this channel, but I think this is going to be by far the weirdest thing you've ever seen in a Pokemon game. A wild black belt appeared. And we're gonna go ahead and fight him with our scissor. Okay, let's do this. We're literally using a Pokemon right now to fight a human. So let's go ahead and try Fall Swipe. I'm not sure if this is gonna knock him out in one hit or not. And wow, it actually knows a move, Pound, so that didn't do anything to us. It would probably do 30 damage if we didn't resist it. And yet, ooh, critical hit. These guys are bulky. I'm surprised a person can actually take a hit from a Pokemon. I thought that would have been one and done. Alright, if this guy can take a hit, let's go for Bullet Punch right now and see how much that does to him. Okay, wow. He's definitely not a black belt for nothing. He can definitely take a few hits. I'm gonna weaken him a few more times, and then maybe we'll try catching him like he's <laughs> just a regular Pokemon, even though he's a human. This has got to be one of the weirdest things I've ever done ever in Pokemon. I can't believe right now that I'm fighting against a human with my Scizor. Okay, good. He's in the red zone, and now normally, when you weaken a Pokemon enough, you can catch it with the ball. Now I'm hoping the same logic applies for a person. Let's go ahead and try our Ultra Ball, and let's try catching this Black Belt. Will he be able to escape? So yes, we got him in the Ultra Ball, but it looks like it's not shaking. He's like, nope, you're not getting me. He's going for Pound again. But now let's try something that not even a Black Belt should be able to escape from, a Master Ball. Let's see this guy get in that purple ball. All right, we got him! Black Belt was caught. I literally have a person on my team right now. And ooh, we're getting some Pokedex data for the Black Belt. What's it gonna say? Ooh, an error has occurred. Please turn off the power. That's a great Pokedex entry. So as of right now, it looks like I can't use these things on my team. But I do think I have a workaround, which I'm gonna try in a little bit. But before I do that, I wanna show you a few more wild people in Pokemon. Let's go into the grass over here and try to encounter another person. A wild Bryson man appeared, and that is an incredible cry if I've ever heard one before. Whoa! Let's see, does this guy just know Pound as well? I'm gonna go for False Swipe now. This is definitely gonna bring him down to 1 HP since it's only level 2. And yeah, it looks like the only thing these people know is Pound. We'll come back to more Bryson Man later. Next, let's try fishing and see what I find over here. Okay, I got something. Landed a Pokemon, but I don't think this is gonna be a Pokemon. Instead, a wild giant female appeared. That's kind of freaky, I'm not gonna lie. Alright, so, we know these things can definitely take hits, I'm gonna go for Bullet Punch right here, and see how much we do to the female. I really wonder what type these things are, and like everything else, it only knows Pound, except it's doing a decent amount to me. If I didn't resist it, it might be a little scary. And last but not least, we have this one. So this isn't really a person, but it's called a humanoid, so I wanted to include it in this video. Although to me, it looks more like a zombie. Maybe something from like Plants vs. Zombies with those kind of root-like legs. Alright, so now that you've seen me hack all these people into Pokemon, let's go ahead and try and use them. So obviously, I can't catch these people, otherwise the game crashes. So what I'm gonna do is use some modification tools to modify my save file and place them in my PC and my party. Let's see what happens now. 
All right, so we're in game. We hacked them to be in our party now. So let's go ahead and check out what the black belt looks like in our party. I guess it's an egg now. What came first, the black belt or the egg? Oh wow, it's a bad egg and it looks like it's gonna be hatching soon. So actually, I wanna see if I can get this thing to hatch and see if it'll pop out of there. Oh wow, the first step, oh? Wait, is nothing gonna happen? Is it not gonna hatch the egg? Oh? Does that happen every time I take a step? Oh my god, these really are some bad eggs, look at this. Every time I walk, I need to press A to keep moving. I need to get these things out of my party. Oh my god, this <laughs> these are some really, really bad eggs. I've never encountered this before, where every time I take a step, it's gonna try to hatch the eggs, but it doesn't actually work. Alright, let's go to the PC and see if I can put these things away, because I won't be able to play this game if every time I take a step, that thing pops up. So let's go into the... Huh? Congratulations. Oh. Oh, that has nothing to do with this. Okay. Alright, let's go move Pokemon, and whoa! This looks freaky! Alright, so there's our Black Belt, who has a really weird egg palette color in there, and his sprite looks all black. Can we check the summary out? I really hope so, because I don't want to walk back out. And yes, we can. So it's a shiny Black Belt, number 683 in the Pokedex. Oh, you know what I have to do now. At some point, I'm gonna have to try transferring this up to X and Y, but before that, we're gonna mess around with these guys a little bit more. But name Black Belt, he is literally all black, and I didn't give him any moves or abilities, since I don't know what his moves or abilities would be other than, like, Pound. Let's check out the rest of the guys, though. Oh, alright. Oh, that's how it works. So the shiny one there's no shiny palette for the black belt, so that'll show up as all black. But the regular black belt keeps its color. Very interesting. And if we flip him around, he turns into a little red cube, I guess because there was no back sprite programmed into the game for people. So let's keep going down. Oh yeah, so it looks like all the shiny people are just completely black since they didn't program in a shiny sprite for them. And I guess the uh, normal versions of them will have the color. Wait a second, Bryson Man is dark and psychic, and I totally missed the typing on the other one. The black belt is fighting type. That that makes sense. Bryson Man is dark and psychic. Very, very funny. The giant screaming female is just a normal type, alright. The humanoid is also a pure normal type. Very weird. Ooh, and looking at their little icons here is even more strange. Just look at them in the PC. Ooh, wow. That looks like something out of a really bad ROM hack. That doesn't look like something you'd see in the official Pokemon game. But to be fair, I don't think the developers of this game ever intended on us hacking in people into our PC. Oh, wow, and Bryson Man has the Victini sprites. Very weird. Oh, whoa, that's freaky. And the black belt just looks normal. All right, let's try bringing Bryson Man into our PC. I heard bad things happen if I tried doing this, but let's go ahead and try it. And okay, that worked fine. Now let's check him out. Does he work? Oh, wait, I want to put the bad eggs away too. Oh, all right, I guess it just turns into a bad egg. I wanted to put these away, but it looks like if I take any of these people out of the PC and put them in my party, they just instantly turn into bad eggs. So that's kind of annoying. So since I can't take these people out of my PC because they turn into bad eggs the moment that I do, I'm gonna try doing something a little crazy to get to use them in battle. I put them in my battle box, which basically lets me use a team of Pokemon right from my PC, and I'm gonna go to the battle subway and see if they let me select those Pokemon or people to use. Oop, I think we're off to a good start. It looks like it's letting me select the people in my battle box as my team, so let's go right ahead and enter them. Oh, this is crazy. Okay, we're on the train, and this person does not know the battle he's about to get himself into. Let's go, Rich Boy Pound. Uh, that's an interesting name, considering these people only know the move Pound. So let's go. Ooh, wow, that's a long name. And just like we saw on the PC before, it looks like my Karate Man, since he doesn't have a back sprite, is literally just a nice magenta box. So yes, this little battle box bypass does work, and we can use them in battle this way, although we don't really get to see the best part of them, they look like boxes instead of actual people. That's kind of disappointing. Alright, so the last thing we're gonna do is try transferring all of these people up into newer Pokemon games. Now, I doubt it's gonna work, I doubt Pokemon Bank is actually gonna take these guys, but we're gonna go ahead and try it anyway. So I have all these little glitchy mess things here, and then an Embor in my PC, so we'll know if it's actually detecting anything in this box or not. 
All right, so we're in Poke Transporter right now, the application that lets us bring Pokemon from Generation 5 to Pokemon Bank, and let's see if it's actually going to detect these guys or not. Again, I don't think this is gonna work, but we have gotten some weird glitchy Pokemon into Pokemon Bank before, like in my Missing No video, so there is a possibility. Alright, it looks like it's only detecting the Embor, it's not gonna show the other humans in the box, which makes a lot of sense. It knows they're hacked Pokemon and it doesn't want to bring those up to newer games. Oh well, it would've been crazy bringing them forward, I would've loved to see them transform into something glitchy. And with that, my friends, you now have seen one of the craziest things I have ever done in any Pokemon game, making people appear in the wild like Pokemon. If you enjoyed this video and you haven't already, give this video a thumbs up because it really helps out my channel, and subscribe if you're new. Also, there are plenty of other weird Pokemon we can make appear in Pokemon Black and White too. so if you want to see that in a future video, make sure you let me know down in the comments section. As always, thank you so much for watching, and my friends, I'll be seeing you in the next one.